guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about this new hairstyle that I have going on. If you don't follow me on Instagram, don't worry, it is a wig. Um, my Instagram is at Sharmsy, so make sure you follow me there for daily updates on different things and inspiration, fashion style pics, stuff like that. And if you don't have Instagram and you do have Facebook, my page is facebook.com slash Sharmsy. Once you like that page, you will get my Instagram uploads um, to your feed and that way you can also keep in touch there so as I mentioned this is a wig I have now joined the wig club whatever that is um, I've said this before and I'll say it again I really want to lay off the hair color and put the scissors down and I get really scissor happy around this time of year just because I get bored um, so I decided that I could get this whole look of you know new color cut straight hair and keep my hair protected and this was under $30 so um, yeah I'm going to be looking into this wig thing a bit more <laughs> this winter for sure this is from a beauty supplies shop um, but you can get it online and the company is called Sensational that's what the box looks like and the name of this wig is Rihanna um, I can't lie, when I saw it in the store on the mannequin head or whatever and you know I just liked the look by itself and then when it said Rihanna I was like yeah I got represent. <laughs> My mom's from Barbados if you don't know so I get a little excited. Um, anything to do with Barbados or Rihanna related because I'm a big fan. Anyways, if you guys like it, thumbs up so far if you like it. I actually got it in a dark brown as well, which is number two is the color. Um, but I like the burgundy so much that I think I'm just gonna stick with a lot of burgundy wigs if I get some more this um, winter because I'm liking the color. So it is color, I'll just show you on the box. So that is the color and you can heat, you can use, um, you can heat style this wig up to, what is it? 350 to 400 degrees. I haven't used any heat on this and I don't know if I will, maybe I might try it just out of curiosity at some point, but so far I just comb it and it's good to go. Now this is a lace front edge. So it came with some lace up to about here and I cut it off and I learned how to do that just from Googling on YouTube, just looking up different videos everything I learned about wigs I just found on YouTube and something that's really cool that I discovered is that for any type of wig you want there's usually someone out there that's done a review on it so you can really get a feel for what it looks like so if you go on a website and you see a wig you like type in that name of the wig into YouTube and odds are somebody already did a review so you can get a real life look at it because sometimes pictures can be a bit deceiving now with this wig they do give you an option to have leave out so if you have hair that would blend well with this and you want to have um, leave out at the top to make it a bit more um, convincing if you don't want to deal with the whole part issue then you can just cut along they have a bit of a track and cut along the lace to have a natural part and now underneath this wig I will show you it has um, clips or combs so there's a look there you have some towards the top of your head and then the back as well. Um, I will say this, you might want to do a wig cap to keep your hair down. The whole idea is to make it look as real as possible so having your real hair really flat to your head will help you to achieve a more realistic look. For me, I don't have really thick hair, my hair is really pretty thin so it was it's quite easy to get everything kind of tucked under. Um, wig caps for me kind of slide off my hair because when my hair is slicked back it is very slippery so it just kind of slides off so that doesn't work as well for me but um, I mean I'm sure I could use maybe bobby pins I don't know so I just depend on the clips now I do two different things for my hair sometimes I will do like a really low bun at the back of my the nape of my neck um, and it's really small because I don't have thick hair but um, some other options are to just do like a flat braid and then bobby pin the braid either sideways or up and bobby pin it as flat as you can to your head um, or what I did today is just brushed uh, my ponytail out as flat as I could and then just 
put it like flipped it off to my head and bobby pinned it to my head just to give it a more of a flat look at the back so i'll show you the back really quick well, actually now that i'm talking about it Part. that's the part that for me is a bit intimidating when trying on wigs you just you really want it to look as natural as possible obviously so with the lace front this is how it looks so after you cut off the lace at the front and again I would I, I just kind of copied what I saw in YouTube tutorials I went as close to the edge as I could I'm sure I cut off some of the hair by accident, but you know, it's not very obvious. Now for this part, lace front wigs usually, you know, I'm not prob probably not going to spend a lot on my wigs, so this was under $30 and I'm sure most of them that I will end up trying will be as well because for me, it's not a major investment as I'm kind of just doing this to pass time while having protective styles and just change up my look now and then. So um, for these ones, you, you might run into two issues with the part. One is that it's not going to match your skin color, so it will look, you know, really off. And number two, it might just be really dull looking where it's just, there's no part. You can just see like a lot of bulk in the part area. And so what you can do for that is, again, I saw this in different tutorials. You can take a tweezer and actually pluck out some of the hairs in the part that way it looks more convincing okay so just a little tip for me this is just my opinion I find that most wigs look a bit more natural when the part is a little bit off to the side um, that's just my opinion from the ones that I've tried in beauty supply stores so that's just a little tip if you want it to look a bit more natural maybe try it to the side and it might look uh, more convincing on your face Okay, so taking this comb, I have my hair parted to line up with the part in the wig underneath. So I'll lift a little to give you an idea. Okay, so then you wanna line up the part on the wig with your part. Now, if you have any edges from your hair that are out, you just want to put some kind of like edge control gel or whatever and just sort of slick it down. Okay, now in terms of blending the color of the part to your skin, you're just going to take some foundation or some concealer and just run it along the part and then just kind of dab it in. I've already done so, so I'm not going to do it again, but you get the idea. And then you just want to brush it in to look as natural as possible. And then your edges that are exposed, you just want to slick those down. And you know, get it as perfect as you can, but in all honesty, like, do you ever have a perfect part when you do your hair, your natural hair? I never do. Like, it's a little bit off. So to me, I am not going to be too anal about that because I feel like that actually makes it a little bit more realistic than having a dead straight part because I never have a exact straight part and I think if it is perfectly it almost does look fake to me so if you have a little bit a little bit off here and there it's okay um, but yeah that is pretty much it for that um, in terms of any shedding this has been really really good considering the price like you would think it would be shedding a lot more there's nothing really um I'm trying to think maybe when i first put it on and you know combed through it i had some shedding actually now that i think back i did i definitely had some shedding but after that now it's it's cool it's not even it's not bad at all um so maybe just the initial time the initial like unpackaging just kind of go through it and take out any excess hairs but after that you'll you should be pretty good i would think okay so that's pretty much everything i hope you guys found this helpful if you do want me to continue showing you new wigs that i may try out um during the fall winter let me know in the comments or by giving it a thumbs up so 
that I will continue to do so. Um, as I mentioned, this wig comes in other colors, so I also got it in the color 2, which is a really dark brown. But there are, I would say, maybe 8 or 9 different shades that you can order. Um, two websites that I have tried out before and, you know, had decent service with um, are hairsisters.com and blackhairspray.com. Um, you can check out all different wigs on there. And then if you see a wig you like, take the name, type it into YouTube and see if you find a tutorial or a video on a review on that style. It's the best way to get a really good look if you can't go into a beauty supply store and try it on. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video and that's it. Bye.